Hello everyone, this is Lisa with TNL Pottery and I have a kiln opening. Um, there's not a whole lot in here, but it's pretty much all the same, but I'm excited because there is one piece by my daughter in here. So let's get to opening. This is my daughter's piece. She made a plate for an art show that we're going to be putting our stuff in. And she did this all on her own. She wanted to be a beach theme. I think she did pretty good. She wanted to see what the effect would be if she didn't put three or four layers of glaze on it. So I think it looked, I think it turned out good. I'm very proud of her. She used Norse Blue, um, Blue Hydrangea, and this is Coyote's Papaya. And this is Coyote's Pam Screen. Okay, so. Okay, this is not as pretty as I thought it would be. And it's probably because it's on a dark clay, very dark clay. Um, I have pearl white pearl white on the top and then down here on the bottom that the pearl white dripped over and on the handle is textured mossy so I have four of these and it's summertime so things are starting to fire hotter so that's why my normal brown is really really dark right now so uh because it's firing hotter. So two more like that. Which I mean, I kind of like them. They kind of have like this swampy feel to them. Which I mean, they're Louisiana mugs. So it's kind of cool in a way. It's not the colors I thought it would be. But I'm glad there wasn't a disaster. Because I was worried that the pearl white would run all the way down which this one came very, very close to doing, but it stopped. It amazes me how it does that. My grandmother, let me, let me say it like this. Um, my grandfather passed a few months ago, and so we're trying to visit my grandmother as much as we can. And I brought some pottery um, projects to her for us to do together. And one of them was a picture frame. She told me to put a picture of my daughter in it before I give it to her. So I'm very excited to bring this to her because her and my daughter made it together, her and her great granddaughter. So uh, it came out beautiful. She uh, put two different Celadon colors. It was two different greens. It was a light green and a dark green. I can't remember the names of them um, on top of each other. And this is it. Came out pretty. And this is the last one with the pearl white and textured mossy. So, and the inside... On this one, I put the pearl white everywhere. I know you can't really see the inside very well. But this, uh, this the textured mossy one, I put the pearl white everywhere. And then the textured mossy everywhere. <clears throat> the other ones that I'm going to show you, I just put the pearl white on the rim. So we had a catastrophe. <laughs> Um, this one is pearl white and textured mulberry, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to grind that. I'll try. I don't, I guess the textured mulberry is more runny than the textured mossy. Yep. <clears throat> Another one. 
And that's a shame because it's really pretty. I like the way it came out. I should have put less pearl white. Because it's really pretty. Every one of them's like that. It's so pretty. So see, this is the pearl white you can see. Um, and it's up here in the inside rim. That's such a shame. I mean, every single one of them. I guess I put too much pearl white on the ones with the textured mulberry. I see a lot of grinding in my future and possibly not salvaging. And then the last three is my um, Spectrum Black with my Coyote Really Red. Um, kind of sprayed on one look. So it's three coats of the black down to one coat, I mean two coats of black down to one coat of black and then two coats of the red all the way. And that's what gives it that sprayed on look. I'm going to show a video on how I did that. And that's the last two. It's the same colors. And that's it. That's all I have in my kiln today. All right. See y'all next week. Thanks for watching. I know this color. Give me a second. Ooh, I must have forgotten to put the really red on the inside. Or did I do that on purpose? I might have did that on purpose.